Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would show you guys what's in my college kit bag and kind of what I carry around to go and do hair. So this bag is what I take to college. I have reduced the bag massively in size but it's only due to the fact that I did need another bag and I really really like this one so I'm kind of just having it sacrificed. Um, but yeah I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. If you want to see any other hair videos, anything related to that or any other videos in general then don't forget to drop them down below or even give me a love a little dm on instagram i promise i will try and get back to you guys um but yeah i hope you guys do enjoy today's video don't forget to smash the big thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get on to the video So this is the bag here that I use. It was on Amazon. I'm sure it was only like 20 pounds or something. As I said, I massively needed to get a new bag because the other one was just so old and ripped. And I just, I was really upgrading my stuff. Um, I think the only thing I actually need to buy new now are scissors, which are the most expensive part. So yeah, um, I bought new brushes and combs and clips and stuff. So I'm very, very happy. I've kind of upgraded. And this little side of pocket here, I just keep these clips. These are probably my most used clips and I just thought that this little pocket here was perfect for them. As I said, I got this bag on Amazon and it comes with this little handle and also an adjustable strap. And feet on the bottom, which is perfect so you don't scrape the bottom. And then on the other side, I don't keep anything there because everything is so bulky on the inside. I tried to put in some clips there but it just didn't work. And then in the back it's got a little bit and I've just kept some business cards and my little capital card. Um, so that if I ever need to buy from capital then everything is there too. Plus I love to give my clients in college or um, obviously out with a love a little business card so that they can check me out. And if they do enjoy my style and my skills then they can contact me out with the college and become a client. And then in this little front section here, I just keep my little thing for my scissors and the combs. So inside here, when you open it up, it's just all my combs and all my scissors. So I just have every comb that I would need. Uh, I've got little cutting combs, um, longer cutting combs. I prefer to use a long comb. This isn't actually a cutting comb, but you can use it for cutting. I prefer the longer one. Um, as this is the actual cut and comb, I just feel like it's too small for me. And then I've got a big, like, small tooth comb. Um, I've got kind of like more of a back comb and just an outbrush or comb, another cut and comb because the two of them have different sized teeth for some reason. I've got two different tail combs, one plastic and one metal. I don't really use the plastic one, but I thought I would grab another one anyway since I was buying a new. Um, Combs anyway, and then I have my teeth scissors, which are good for thinning, the thinning scissors, and then I also have my normal scissors. So these are five inch scissors. I think I'm gonna go up to six inches. Um just see, I'm gonna look at getting new scissors and stuff, but they are really expensive, so it's kind of something that's gonna be my last to upgrade. And then in this little bit here. I just keep my box of card beads and pins and stuff like that. I'll just open it up and show you without... I barely even opened it up and they're flying everywhere. Um, all my card beads and my pins and stuff for if I'm doing any hair ups or pinning the hair away or anything like that, that is in there. So then into the main bit, the top bit here, it is jam packed full, full to the girls. I just keep, I've got a few spare clips in here because I've got a lot um, because they constantly go missing. So I bought another massive packet and I'll just keep the spare ones there because I'll probably end up losing them soon anyway. I've got my lovely doll's head if you watched my day in a life of being at college. Um, you know that we have lovely little doll's heads which I have, I don't even know if the style will be in nicely, no. It's all squashed, um, I had curled it, but it's all kinda, like that's definitely not how the curls were like before. I have gave her a balayage and toned it, so that is why it's like different coloured. But yeah, 
um, I was quite happy with that balayage actually. She went very ginger though, that's the only thing, but that's what toner's there for. And then I have my mixing bowl for my colour and also my brush. I prefer a large brush for colour and stuff like that. I don't know why, it's like I prefer a bigger comb, um, a bigger brush. I just feel like, I feel like I get somewhere with this. Um, as the other ones I don't. And then on the inside there's two little pockets and I just keep bobbles so I've got black ones there and little clear elastics there and then on this bit I've got these um, clips that are just more like that so they're better for like shorter hair. And then in the back I have my razor with spare blades. I then have a GHD comb. I really love this for brushing out curls. Um, if I'm not wanting to use it on my fingers. And then in the middle bit I have my GHD paddle brush. And then I have this little, um, it's a, a bun thing. So you can turn it into a bun or you can use it just as padding like that. It's just a padding. But it's quite universal. And I have my clamp, which I have the other part to here. Because I have to take it apart to get it back into this. Bag, so that's just my clamp for my doll's head there and then I have all of my GHD round brushes so I have all four um, I just thought I would just get all four so that is them here all of them there um, obviously all different sizes depending on how long your hair is and then I have Osmo hairspray which I really love the smell of this hairspray it's just it's like the best smelling hairspray ever and it doesn't get you too choked up either. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And as I said at the beginning of the video, if there's any other video ideas you want to see, then please drop them down below or give me a little DM on Instagram and I will try and get back to you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.